How do I just got that in my feed? Of course, it was in German language, so I made Google translate it for me. Risk model. In 1356, there was a massive earthquake in Basel, Switzerland. Today, the consequences would be devastating. Like, as if they wouldn't have been back in the days. The Basel region has been hit by several earthquakes, with the worst occurring in 1356. According to the risk model, a repetition would have serious consequences. Now, I really wonder how they pull up this all of a sudden. On October 18th, 1356, the city of Basel was hit by an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.6. Yeah, I really wonder how they figured that out. So obviously those pictures are changing by themselves. Rhine Graben, the city of Basel is located in the northeast. This doesn't really work, I'm sorry for that. Yeah, it's red. It's really red. <laughs> Check it out. They are just like falling off. And also here. So now let's go quickly through the article. I haven't read this yet. And I thought I'm going to read it. So why not sharing it? Same. Two flies at one. That's what it's about. Basel is located on the Rhine Graben. This propensity for earthquakes is particularly high here. The propensity. The worst earthquake in the region happened in 1356. The city was massively destroyed with the death toll remaining relatively small. A comparable quake today would have killed around 3,000 people, injured 21,000 and caused billions in damage. Why do earthquakes happen in Basel? The main reason for this is the geological structure of the Rhine Graben. The city of Basel is located on the northeast, on the Black Forest Massive, in the south, it borders on the Fold and Table Jura, and on the southern end is the Upper Rhine Graben. <coughs> After Valle, Vallis, Basel is therefore the Swiss region with the highest earthquake risk. Earthquakes in and around Basel have been documented since the 14th century, and there may have been a strong earthquake in the Roman settlement of Augusta Raurica. I have showed you that place as early as 250. However, the strongest documented earthquake occurred on October 18th, 1356. It was even the strongest earthquake in Central Europe to date. What happened in 1356? On a mild October evening in 1356, the cows were grazing comfortably in front of the city walls. The city of Basel was unexpectedly struck by a catastrophe. The Basel quake had a magnitude of 6.6 .6 on the Richter scale and devastated the settlement, which had only 6,000 inhabitants at the time. Beams broke, stones crashed down and the battlements of the walls fell to the ground. The destruction was great. How many fatalities were there? The earthquake was relatively mild for the population. Several foreshocks had announced the strongest tremors. Yeah, just unexpectedly. And here, foreshocks announced the strongest. Yeah, anyway. As a result, many people had already left their homes when the worst part of the earthquake started. The number of fatalities was relatively low. At 100. Was there serious damage? Yeah, obviously we saw it in the pictures. The damage to buildings looked worse. Many buildings were damaged, especially because fires also broke out. Open fireplaces were left by the fugitives and set fire to the wooden houses. Basel's city center was massively devastated. The roof of the central nave and the five cathedral towers 
of the Basel Minster collapsed. Five cathedral towers. Yeah, you know, think about that. A small town and to have five cathedral towers. They had like skills and stuff to do with these kind of things. A corner of a corner tower of the Basel city will also partially collapsed, as did the upper facade parts of entire rows of houses. Some of the damage caused by the earthquake is still visible on the cathedral today. What were the other effects of the quake? The earthquake made parts of Basel temporarily inhabitable, uninhabitable. Other settlements around the city and more distant cities such as Solothurn, Bern and Strasbourg were also affected by the strong earthquake. The tremors are said to have been felt as far away as Paris and Prague. What effects would such an earthquake have today? The consequences of an earthquake in Basel with a magnitude of 6.6 .6 were calculated in the course of a modeling of modeling the Swiss earthquake risk model 2023. So that's my might be the reason why they are bringing up this thing. <coughs> and the earthquake in Turkey. Around 3,000 fatalities and 21,000 injuries would be expected. The damage to buildings amounted to around 45 billion Swiss francs. Across Switzerland, around 80,000 buildings would be moderately to very severely damaged. According to calculations, around 70% of all buildings in the canton of Basel-Stadt would be damaged. Yeah, this was it. So now let's have a look at this. It's the processing. Let's give it a second. Updated 50 seconds ago. And lo and behold, there's a quake in Basel. It's maybe not in the city. No, it's on the German side of the river. Of the River Rhine, I have been talking about this. Efringenkirchen. <laughs> you remember, probably, I have been talking about churches being fortresses in order to protect the water. So this whole place carries the name of church. And we have a waterway flowing through. Eight hours ago, Curry blast. All right, one point three zero kilometers in depth. So where is the quarry? Here is a quarry. Yeah, that's just a shadow. But anyway, there are many quarries in this region. Many interesting things, such as geothermal activity. And let me show you just quickly the Augusta Raurica. What we were talking about, I think it's here. Kaiser Augst, Augusta Raurica, yes. Yes. Roman archaeological site and museum. If I just could turn this around now. Now it's approximately straight. Now we can measure it even. Some 100 meters in diameter. Maybe a bit more. Taberna Augusta Raurica. And the Romans liked to bath in warm water and stuff like that. So, I'm not too sure, but if there is still some thermal bath here in this place. But I'm pretty sure there has been in the past something. And there are many geothermal activity places here in this region. Not only that, we also 
Uh, this was the quake. And if we go just a little bit more north, let's just put north where north belongs for now. Here is the Kaiserstuhl Vulcano. <laughs> yes. And there is a volcano there. Let's turn it like this and try to measure from Basel to the volcano. Let's put to terrain. It's easier visible for everyone. Yeah, let's say 70, 60 kilometers. Sixty kilometers from Basel to the Kaiserstuhl Vulcano. And the river Rhine goes somewhat here and then it turns 90 degrees northwards. We have cryptodomes here, we have a volcano somewhere here up. Where is it? Here. Volcanoes, cryptodomes here and a volcano here and there might be many, many others. Now let's check out this quite quickly as well because it's amongst the Rhine. <clears throat> 1.2, seven hours ago. Alptal Mühle. <clears throat> so there is a valley. Tal means valley. Mühle means a mill. And back in the days, those mills were at the water because the water was turning the wheel, you know. So I assume, even though that there is nothing marked here as a water vein, that we have a water vein. Check it out. There's a river flowing there. And the quake is literally in the river. And the quarry beside it. This might be water. There's water all over the place. Maybe a fish pond or something. But anyway, <clears throat> I found it interesting that they were talking about earthquakes in Basel. That's a big city. There's all kinds of things in Basel. And in the vicinity of Basel, there are many chemical firms and all kinds of things because there is the River Rhine. So an earthquake in this region. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't be a good thing. But I leave it here. Thanks.